Good morning, everyone. My name is Monica from Monica Wildlife, and this is Luna. Luna is an Abyssinian guinea pig that was rehomed to our family last August. Luna and her cage mate Nova are in need of a nail trim. So today we are teaching you how to trim guinea pig nails at home. The first thing that we need is an elevated flat surface, like a table or countertop. We're also going to need a towel or fleece blanket so that the guinea pig is comfortable, small animal nail clippers, dipping powder, and treats. In this video, we are using a Cuban nail pepper. This pepper is a sweet pepper. Spicy peppers should never be given to guinea pigs. These can really upset their digestive system, they can cause pain, and other medical issues. For the nail clippers, we are using small animal nail clippers from the brand All Living Things. You can see the nail clippers in the back here on Luna's left side. Human nail clippers could be used if there are no small animal nail clippers available. However, I find that these are less comfortable for owners and guinea pigs alike because the flattened shape of the blades of human nail clippers create a very small and thin space where guinea pig nails don't fit very well. A common concern when trimming guinea pig nails is cutting too far into the nail, reaching the quick, and causing some bleeding. It's important to be aware that this is not as serious as it might look. Even though this will create discomfort, it is temporary and with treats, your guinea pig will forget about it very soon. To stop the bleeding, we're using styptic powder, which is also used when trimming nails of dogs, cats, and even in some bird injuries. If you do not have styptic powder, you can try using cornstarch or you can apply light pressure with a gauze until the bleeding stops. The first thing that I did here was bring Luna closer to me and my body closer to hers so that she is gently restrained. She's a very good and docile guinea pig, so as long as there are treats around, she will be happy. While some guinea pigs have black nails, others have clear nails. Clear nails allow you to see the quick, that pink nerve ending, which allows you to clip and not make nails bleed. Luna has both black and clear nails. The back nails are black and the front ones are clear. I stroke her head often because it's something that she enjoys and it helps keep her calm. I think that trimming the back nails is easiest, even if I am unable to see the quick, just because there are less nails and they are farther away from the face and mouth. It's really not a concern with Luna, but some guinea pigs can get really stressed, especially if they're not used to nail trims or being handled and can even bite. As you can see, she is not really caring for treats and that's probably because she already had some veggies this morning. Now is the time for the other mommy to make a very short appearance. Say hello everyone. So now that we have finished the left side, the left front and back paws, we will try another way to position Luna for nail trimming. This position would only work for guinea pigs that are very calmed and used to being handled. Using your hand to hold the front paw helps restrain, but this will not work for skittish guinea pigs. They can get injured trying to run away. We decided to go back to the safest and most comfortable position. Sometimes it takes a little time to grab the paw in a way that you can restrain, but also in a way that they feel comfortable in. At this moment, because of her body language, you can probably notice that I clipped too far into the quick. So we're using styptic powder to stop any bleeding. With some light pressure, it will stop the bleeding immediately. Because this happened, we take a little break for cuddles and treats, and then we go back to trimming.
At the end of the nail trim session, I checked the nails one by one to see if I missed a nail, to check for any bleeding, or to make sure I didn't leave any nails too long. In this case, I did leave a nail too long and decided to clip it. Unfortunately, I clipped too far once more, so we repeat the process. After we are officially done with the session, she feels more relaxed and comfortable and goes for the treats. This was definitely a nice nail trim session with a very nice guinea pig. However, we understand that not all guinea pigs behave the same. So because of this, we are creating a part two of how to trim guinea pig nails for guinea pigs that are more nervous and those that can bite. This second part will be possible thanks to cage mate Nova, which is not an adult yet. She is not as used to being handled and can bite when she's scared. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and ring that notification bell so that you can enjoy our videos as soon as they are posted. We hope that this was helpful and entertaining and that guinea pig nail trims are less stressful for you and your family. Remember that nail bleeds will happen and they're nothing to be alarmed about. Today you learned what to do about them, so now you're prepared to trim your guinea pig nails at home. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content related to pet care and veterinary medicine. Have a positive day and thank you so much for watching.